camera's back. So I was filming all day yesterday, literally five hours, two hauls, tidied everything away, and we went to edit and realized it was in like the old TV HD. So annoying, at least it's fixed now. So it's Friday. Uh, what do we do? We took the dogs for a walk, did emails, and now I'm on my way to Hermes to just literally to see if they have um, the CDC with Rose that I've been looking for for two years. Um, gonna also just see if they've got any bags, but I know that they don't. <laughs> and then I have a meeting at, with Topshop to try out their personal shopping service. Um, I need to get a taxi, I'm late, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Hello, can I go to Hermes on New Brunswick Street? We only have half an hour because I have this personal shopping meeting which I'm really looking forward to because the last time I went in Topshop, as you know, I was in there about three hours and bought so much. So the personal shopping area is going to be really convenient. So I'm at Hermes. But I'm going to come back because I want to go to Chanel and Dior as well. So I've arrived at the Oxford Street store. I'm nearest to the Knightsbridge one, which I love, and it's really quiet. But this just has everything. I've been coming here since I'm a teenager. So I chose to go to this one. This is the best. So I'm in the top shop, um, not VIP, and I'm having the time of my life. I was meant to be meeting my friend in an hour, and I've already been here an hour. Got the drink for you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Love a diet cake. Um, it was cold as well. So yeah, the music's so good. I've been going around like picking out all my bits, and this is exactly what happened last time. I popped in here, found so many amazing pieces, and I definitely recommend this. Like I'm not here to promote personal shopping or anything, but it is worth it. I'm going to ask the girls how it works. Like I know at Harrods, when I used to do it as minimum spend. Um, so I'll, I'll check with her and I'll put it along here. Uh, but this is what I've got. The jeans are amazing and I always swear by high street jeans. There is no need to spend a fortune on designer jeans unless it's something outstanding. Um, I love Topshop jeans and this is the dad and the straight leg. So the girl that is helping me, it said on my form that it's Holly, but I think she said her name's Rosie. Um, these straight legs look really amazing and she picked out this for me which I love this kind of vibe, but I feel like I'm too old and too chubby, but she's inspired me to give it a go because I'm working out and with a tan, I might be able to pull it off. So that I'm going to try one of her suggestions. Um, I just picked up a Sal swimwear thing that I'm just going to buy. I love, I'm just going to quickly show you. No, I'm going to show you them on. Yeah, what am I doing? I'll show you them on. But yeah, that's basically my pick which is quite a lot. Okay, first look is this oversized um, shirt, which is actually a dress. This is a size 10. I actually love how huge the arms are. I'm always on the hunt for a good white shirt because paired with a pair of jeans, it's just such a chic, on-the-go look for work, day, whatever. Um, and a top tip for a white shirt, I always take them on holiday with me and I put a swimsuit or bikini underneath as like my beach cover-up because I just like the way that that looks. Um, especially when I'm feeling a bit conscious but I just bought an Hermes belt which you would have seen in one of my hauls and this would look really nice with a slip like a nude slip and my Hermes belt so I really like that and I love it for holiday as well um, I'm gonna try it with the jeans Wow oh my god these jeans <sighs> I was really hoping that they fit well because of the color it's so chic look how chic that looks um, this colour is just insane. The size is amazing. I thought I was going to have to go up because I thought they'd run small. But you see where that cut off is? It's really flattering. So with these flats, it's actually really nice. My Givenchy. But that is such a nice look. Um, I'm going to ask her if she can find me. Like I really love the way that looks. But I'm going to ask her if she has like an even shorter shirt, and then I'll buy it in a size 14. But I love the way that looks and then with heels as well. So these two are definitely keepers. And the best thing about finding a good pair of jeans like this is that I now know that this name and style, straight, I can just get in my size and I know they're gonna be good. So if they've got them in blue and black, I'll definitely be getting them and they're 40 pounds. So, so far so good. Look how holiday chic this is. I think she, I think she got me this. 
That's so Saint-Tropez, look at that. Ready to go. Another top tip of mine, you can see the jeans better now. Another top tip of mine are the Topshop tees. These are so soft, I love the V-neck. Um, I'm always wearing necklaces and it's really flattering for a bigger chest. Um, the length is really good, let me show you the length. Size 10 is great for me, but I always go up to 12 just to be ultra baggy, but there's the extra length there. Um, their t-shirts are amazing, so I'm gonna get the gray, the black and the white, yeah. She's just found me the belts. If you follow me on Instagram, I shared these on my stories. Um, it's got a rose gold. Oh, it's so nice. And these, which are like really Chanel-esque. I'm gonna get both colors because I'll just wear them all the time. I'll pack these on holiday with me and just wear them with everything. So t-shirts were 15 pound and I really liked this one with the neckline. It comes in white and I didn't realize this one's only 10 pounds. So I think I'll get white, but I really love the beige on beige and I love this with a stone wash. So the yes pile is going very well. I meant to ask her for something. What was it? Oh, I love this t-shirt saying be, always be kind because I mean, one, I love Ellen DeGeneres and she always says that, um, but I just think that's a really nice t-shirt. So I'm going to get that one. How much is that? 16. Let me show you this blazer because it looks really, really good. I got it in a 14 to get it oversized, but let me show you. I think that looks really expensive. Can you see how amazing these jeans are just looking great with everything? Not sure if to get that in a 12, but that is such a nice blazer. That's what it looks like done up. I think this blazer looks really expensive. Well, it's quite an unusual um, fastening, but I really like it. I'm not sure if to get it in a 12. God, I've got so much stuff. I really love everything. Might get this in a 12, but really good example for a blazer i'll link everything below so you can see uh, the prices and everything but these jeans are a winner i love these that is such a me outfit nice bag nice pair of flats but change them into heels good pair of fitted jeans tee and a blazer good to go and then literally accessorize with something like that this is such a me outfit oh god i don't know what to get now Another look that reminds me of my 90s Tammy Girl days. I think I have to get them. And I didn't realise that this denim is the exact same denim, which I really like. And I'd probably wear these with heels. But that's the t-shirt again with the kind of ripped hem neck. But this jacket is a winner. It's like a nice cropped length. And I got it in a 14, so it's oversized. But um, it gives that kind of Balenciaga look. But it's cropped and it's lighter than my Balenciaga. So this is another outfit that I am definitely getting. I love these kind of heels. She picked me these. Um, I think they're really nice, but I would rather them in black or white or something. So that, that's a really nice look together. Oh, sorry. That's a really nice look. So I'm gonna ask her to get me another pair of those. I've seen some online. But that is another, oh, I'm really happy with this look. Because I know I'm going to Cannes as well, it's a nice, I'm thinking of these. Such a nice outfit, look at that. Didn't I tell you in my last Topshop haul that I got so many great things, even this is really nice. So this is a silk um, little blouse, but it already comes, I always try and do this with my shirts and sometimes it's really difficult. Uh, but this is actually meant to be tied like this, so it all fits really well. I really love it with this, but it will also look nice. This will be so easy to style with different things. And again, I think this looks really expensive, and it's a really nice nude colour. So, nice little capsule collection, because everything I'm getting looks well together and goes well together. I don't know if I need these in a size 10. I'm going to ask her for a size 10, actually, in these. Same top, different bottoms. I love knitwear, as you know, and I love knitted cords. This comes with a really nice, over, um, like tiny little tank, which I don't think will be good for me, but I love the split. This will look so chic with heels for dinner, or one of those tees, and my flats. So you could really style this different ways. But I love it. It's really, really chic. It looks so expensive, doesn't it? 
like that. Again, another outfit. Same shirt, skirt, different colour. This is a baby blue slash grey. Um, I absolutely love it. And this is the next size down, which is definitely better for me. But I just think they're so chic and they're really comfy to wear. So I'm definitely getting these two. They're like 20 something pound. I'll show you the top, but I won't be able to pull it off, I don't think. Still wearing the blouse, love it. Paris is gonna really like this as well. And these are the straight leg jeans in white that um, Rosie picked out for me. And I'm just over the moon that I've got a pair of jeans that I love because sometimes cropped can be too high um, and it makes you look short and it's not flattering. This is the perfect length for me and now I can just go online and buy a straight style in any color. So I'll definitely be getting those two. And now I'm gonna try the dad jeans. Okay, these are the dad jeans. I absolutely love them because they're slightly tapered. Um, they're perfect baggy jeans actually because I asked for boyfriend jeans and these are actually one of the best boyfriend jeans I've tried because sometimes they're too boxy, sometimes they're not tight enough here and I don't like them when, I like the taper the better. The better. Um, but yeah, I really love those, they're really nice. Perfect around the bum. I know I'm going to get a lot of jeans, but I've been really struggling with my jeans lately. I think I've changed shape, and a lot of them I've had literally since I'm 18 years old. So I'm really happy for the jeans I found. Okay, Topshop jeans officially take the gold medal for me. These are mum jeans. They're too big for me. Uh, they're really comfortable, but I need a 10. These are a 12. So um, if they don't have a 10, I'm going to get these just for everyday comfort when I want to wear jeans, but it not be tight. Um, but they're perfect and you could even cut the hem if you wanted that raw hem and I'm just loving this blouse I really recommend this blouse um, how much are the jeans they're all £40 which is great I'm going to see if they've got another colour this in black would be really nice or like a pastel colour would be really nice and I love it how that hides like the unflattering area so these are the pedal pushers I don't even know if we still call that we used to call them pedal pushers, but this is the 10 and it fits so much better. Um, sucks me in a lot more, even though I've just had a big Italian lunch. Um, so they are, I mean, ideally I would get both. One for comfort and one when I want to be tighter, but I think they'll give. Yeah, I'm gonna get the 10. I love this dress, I have a really, unsexy nude t-shirt bra on but this reminds me of Zimmerman and I love like the drop hem at the front I need to like this isn't even done up I need to pull it in tighter um but that's so nice for Saint Tropez because we're going there for a few days I really really like this I was hoping it wasn't going to be nice but I think that's actually a really nice summer dress really nice for a wedding as well depending how much my final amount is I might shove this in the, on at the end let me do it up properly actually so that's done up properly so with a v-neck lacy bra I love that the way that it I love that and Paris loves dresses like this so I feel like this does not look high street I am obsessed with these. So these have been all over my stories for ages and I can tell you that they are so comfortable. Um, I didn't even know they existed in, in pink, but they do. That's the white ones. Without a doubt, I'm getting these because I love white with denim. They're so comfortable. This looks, this looks great with the dress, but it is a little bit too matchy-matchy for me personally. Um, I don't know what to do about these because I love how the pink looks with my red nail varnish. And I love pink and dead. Yeah, I've got to get them. They look amazing. Oh, Jesus. They're just so comfortable. I said in one of my hauls recently how my new Chanel shoes are my favourite kind of shoes to wear because the heel is so small and comfy and I can literally wear them all day. So that is basically the same concept. Oh, I wouldn't like, no, I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to get both of them because I really do like them. And I've asked them to look in uh, the other store to see if they have black. These are 65 and it's real leather as well. 
Okay, we're nearly done because um, there's another appointment, but I just wanted to show you this. These are a medium and I think I'm going to have to get them online in a small, but I just love that as an everyday look and like a really nice airport look. Imagine with the denim jacket, but these are actually really, really nice. Really nice fit. I love that they're a bit um, kind of off color, but I love them. I love this look so comfortable and if you want to be extra with the pink heels so the only thing i'm left to show you and i haven't got time to show you is this dress and it looks so good on it looks really good with the pearl belt i bought small in the pearl belt well i am buying a small um this is how much 35 pounds i have to show you it okay i haven't done it up at the back because i'm in a rush now uh but that's the pearl belt this is a size small um but for £35, I'm really happy with that. I really like it. So I'm all done. That's my pile. And now I'm going to pay for everything and pop back to Hermes. I had the time of my life in Topshop. I'm so happy with all my bits. Let me go in the shade. Yes, I'm so happy with everything I got. Um, I got gifted um, a voucher. And I exceeded it by three times. So obviously I paid for the rest and I thought, let me narrow this down. But actually I loved everything. And for me, wearing all of those looks, mix and match with like a pair of Manolos. Speaking of Manolo, I'm actually on my way to the Ivy to meet Sarah, who works at the PR at Manolo. Friday night with her, can't wait. So yeah, I'm, I think, let me know, would you like a proper haul dedicated to all what I got at Topshop so you can properly see how I style it and maybe mix and match with some other bits, maybe show you how to style it with my accessories. Please let me know and if I get enough people saying yes, I'll do it. Not even that, you know, I'm happy for just one of you to say yes, go ahead. I haven't got much battery. I whipped home, at least how over people looking at me when I'm vlogging. Um, whipped home. I've still got the same thing on, so I've changed my black, my, I have my Givenchy white tee on, which is not very nice for the evening for where I'm going. So I put my black Topshop tee on that I just got. Same blazer, added an Hermes belt, same bag. Changed my denim shorts for denim skirt. And then I've got my black Manolo Maysau on, which is just so comfortable. And exactly like the Topshop ones that I was showing you, so this is definitely the kind of heel that I love. Popped into Hermes, I got a gift for somebody. Um, I'll show you that later in another haul or something. I don't know. But I'm going to walk along the King's Road to the Ivy, so just updating you basically. I just put it like refresh my makeup a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna walk and talk until the battery runs out. What I was going to tell you, yeah, so coming back from America, this was the first time. Normally I really love it, but I'm happy to be home. This time I didn't want to leave and I hated being back really. Saw my family but then I wanted to go back straight away. However, I do love shopping in London, like High Street, like Topshop, like you see, you just don't get that anywhere else. That's my taste anyway. Um, and then like the Hermes, like the luxury shopping in England, I love it. It's just, they're not very pressurised, well they're not pressurising and it's uh, I much prefer shopping back home and I've had lots of amazing meetings. I'm going to one of my favourite restaurants. So I feel a bit better about being back. So my arm is hurting and I don't want to be late for Sarah. So let's go to the Ivy and I doubt I'll vlog, but maybe I will. I don't know. I'll, I'll bring her in the camera and I know what she's going to do. She's going to be like, hi. She's going to do that. So I'm still walking. I love the location of my flat so much. I can literally walk to the King's Road, walk to Harrods, walk to all the tube stations, and then it's literally five, 10 minutes in a taxi to Bond Street. But I want to show you this. So I saw that they were doing, um, what do you call that? Personalization at Skinny Dip. And I am so obsessed with this case. And I got Bambi and Tulu written on it. I got my sister one. I got like the Beverly Hills print one with my initials, uh, but I'm really loving that. It looks so nice. Just getting her hair ready because I've got my camera Oh out. no, I look really greasy. Um, tell us, before my battery runs out, is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's my camera. Tell us um, a fact about Manolo. We have not been drinking, but... Um, he grew up on a banana plantation. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Fun fact for you all. Wow. Where? What country? I can't say. 
Really? Canary Islands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, bye. Bye. Love you. Um, love My you. ocean. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got to walk home in the dark. Oh, sorry I didn't vlog that, but we're just having too, too much fun. Now I've got to walk home. No, I'm not going to get a taxi because I'm scared. Um, we are in some food. I have the worst hay fever, so I didn't wear any makeup. Um, I wanted to buy him something. And we just came, I was going to buy it online, but we saw it. We're coming to try for size and we've ended up just buying it here. And we're waiting. We're going to build a thing on my forehead. Oh yeah, we didn't tell them. Do you want to quickly say? Yeah, so like 10 people grabbed me and I smacked one. One had time to elbow me in the forehead and then I smacked all the other ones. <laughs> Do you want to really tell them what happened? We got bitten by a spider. <laughs> yeah. He got bitten by a spider about a year or two ago and he had two bites here and one bite here. And he was getting a complex about it, so... You could have scarred my forehead and now I had a laser done to remove the scar. We'll see how it works or not. Couple of it but it doesn't sun. work, I bet it makes it bigger. Yeah, it's not looking great to be honest. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we're just getting some bits for him and Tom Ford. I'll show you when we get home. And we're going to pop to Amherst because we're still looking for that thing. I always spend the most money when I look like hell. My eyes, got no makeup on, my hair is washing. I went out last night, I've got a jean, jean shorts and a t-shirt. Anyway, the new menswear looks amazing. The beauty hall looks even better. I'm actually going to show you it before I leave. So we're in a rush because we're going to the Lebanese with his parents. Do you want to show your outfit? No, matchy grey, matchy grey. Uh, this is gone back from XL to L. Look at that. Oh wow! Wow. And this is my friend Phantom Claire. Yeah, so let me show you. Do you want to show what you got in? No, we'll, we'll do it later because we're in a rush. This cardigan got delivered yesterday. It was a gift from Miku Lifestyle. It's the chunky knitwear I love. And these are her summer versions. And how, well, I mean, it looks great with the sofa, but how nice does it look with my new Topshop jeans? And I would pair it with, are you listening? It's just strange having like a, a fake Claire sitting on the sofa. Well, at least it's a quiet one that doesn't moan. It matches my speaker. It's mine, you got me that for Christmas. Oh that you love to take away my presents. So I would wear this whole look with my Manolo BBs. By the way, Meghan Markle's favorite shoes. If you ever see a picture of her, she is always wearing these. Um, yeah, I love these jeans. I'm really obsessed with them. And I'm loving how this beige and gold looks with the um, marble. Mm, hello. Do I, as you know, we're getting this hallway wood paneled. Do we keep it white or do you think grey? We've already bought the grey fab uh, fabric, the grey paint. It's like a, the same as our office, basically. Let me know what you think. I can't decide. I love both. So, yeah, new biscuit coloured. It's called Candlelight. Summer Knit. Favourite jeans ever. And BBs. I can't wait to wear that. I am going to show you my outfit of the day. It's Sunday, so I'm literally no makeup or hay fevery. New necklace, everything is in my haul that you'd have just seen. Levi jeans, shorts, my favourite shoes because they're so comfortable. Favourite bag, which after three years is finally getting a bit of wear and tear on the back. Can you see? It's not colour transferred, it's just the leathers rubbed where I literally live in this bag. I love it so much. So now we are going out for lunch and um, we're going to go for a bit of inspiration garden furniture shopping. So he just asked me to show you, he said, show people. Yeah. We were going to do this later, we're late, but he wants to show you. So I saw this, I mean, he's a Tom Ford addict anyway. Got gifted that by Tom Ford. He absolutely didn't, which is why it has a Harrods Sow label on that everybody's just seen. So I saw it on Mr. Porter, I'll link it below. It was in the Sow and they had it in cord, like beige cord and black, which I still think might get you actually, you know. So we went to Harrods, I had to drag him there yesterday to try and 
um, just check the size. Stop moving around. I like it. And he was like, I don't want to go to Harrods, I don't want to go to Harrods. And I said, there's no point because the sale started last week and you have to get Tom Ford on the first day or there's nothing. So we go in, they have this in the sale and I didn't realise until I got home that it was the first day of the sale and I would have looked around all day. Remember, oh, we actually showed them we were in Tom Ford. Yeah, yeah so we literally got this and then we left. And I really regret not looking at all the women's stuff, but never mind. So here's an XL. It was 7 90 389 and then I booked the 10 percent day which was a bit of a waste because I didn't go get anything else. It's so nice. Do you want the beige or black one? It's in the cell. Oh, they have the white one. The white is new season Makes and new. he really wanted that. He looked like he owned a yacht or something. Yeah. And I have a new wallet as well. Okay, go show. Quickly, because we're really late. I love my giraffe. I literally put it there to be going on with, but I actually really like it there. All that matters is the, the reveal. This is what you told me to do. Well, I don't do that noise, but okay. Good. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so I called this Etope because I have a talking Hermes language. Um, yep, so we have a Tom Ford addict here. I bought him a Prada one like this in navy blue a few years ago, and it's exactly the same. He loves it, it's still immaculate, but you really liked it. That was uh, in this house as well. No. Um, what else was we going to say? I think we should go. Oh, he's got his new shoes from Sarah.